Hey there, welcome to my channel. My name's Andrea and I love the Pilates method of exercise. If you've been here before, thank you so much for coming back. And if you're new, welcome. My channel is all about using the traditional exercises we get from Joe Pilates to work our bodies, whether we're a teacher or a practitioner, and get the most out of them. So today, I have a video for one of my clients. Uh, it's a little request from Janet. And today we're gonna to look at a specific Cadillac exercise, the airplane. The airplane is, I like to think of it as the culmination or the big finale of your lying down leg spring series on the Cadillac. And there is another video on my channel about the airplane, I will link it below, but it does not feature uh, a, a small apparatus that can be a supportive, uh, starting place to learn the airplane exercise. And that small apparatus is the airplane board. This board is made by Graz, and it's basically a place, uh, a supportive place. You can see usually the leg spring series and the airplane are done with just the foot straps. So just looking at these two things, you could probably figure out that this would be a little bit more helpful in giving you support to do the exercise versus these guys you're probably gonna to have to bring a lot more to the table. <laughs> so we're gonna to look today at the airplane exercise done with the board. I'm gonna do that first. They are two different experiences of the exercise. And then I'm gonna use, put the foot straps back on again, and I'm gonna take you through a short workout of all of the leg spring series, which will culminate uh, and finish with the uh, airplane done with just the foot straps. Okay. There is another post on this topic. As I said, I'll link, link it below. And I will also link the blog post that accompanies this video. If you're interested in seeing videos like this uh, every week, become a subscriber, click the bell icon so you'll be notified every time there's a new video. And you can go to the blog as well, that link is below. You can subscribe to that so you'll get the blog at the same time and you can use the blog and the video kind of together. Um, okay, so first I'm going to set up the board. I'm just going to put these foot straps down for a moment. So the board just attaches to the little clip. And I'm going to lie down and get in place. And you know, as you're getting into position with this board, you just want to make sure you don't drop it on your face because it is a board and it would hurt. I'm going to make my distance so I'm arm's length away from the poles behind me. And then I'm just checking to make sure all the clips are straightforward and not kinked. And then I'm going to put my feet inside. So already this is a little bit different experience because now the, the legs are parallel, the feet are parallel, and they are apart. Whereas with the straps, the foot straps, they're going to be together. And I'm just gonna press this down to kind of have a starting point right here. Yes, I'm gonna make this kind of quiet. Okay, so with my feet on the board, on the mat, I'm gonna send all of my body down like I'm standing on that board because I literally am. And then I'm just gonna try to keep, continue that feeling of standing, even though my legs are gonna come toward my chest. I'm going to essentially slowly roll like a ball to get upside down in position. The spring will close. I'm going to use my frog skills to stand on the board. And then I'm just going to stand and lift my trunk away from where I'm standing. And then I'm going to resist coming in. This is kind of, you know, this bending in with the board is really just like your frog. Uh, that we do beforehand. And I'll point that out when we go back through the series. So over, stand on the ceiling, and then lift the trunk of the body into the poles away from where you're standing. I'm gonna do it one more time. Over, up, And then I'm going to bend back in. So now I'm going to reverse. I'm going to frog, essentially, kind of low, 
And then I'm going to stand on the board until I take off. This is probably where the airplane gets its name. Now when the spring goes away, I gotta stay in control and bend. And then I'm gonna resolve the exercise. So you can see, you'll be able to see when I do this version of the exercise, and then how it changes when I don't have the board anymore. One more time. And I'm just trying to feel like I'm staying lifted away from where I'm pushing on the spring. So that's giving me support to have nice lift all upward in my trunk for where my hands are. That lift of my trunk is still going to my hands. And now it's still going to my hands as I roll down. And while we've got the board, there's a nice change of direction moment um, where you can just keep your body long and fly up in the air and it's sort of fun. So I'm just gonna do that part. Um, so let's pretend I've done three in the first direction. And this is my last one in the first direction. So I'm just gonna keep everything together, everything in a nice long line. And it's gonna come down and it's gonna go back up. And you know, you can even do that part over and over again. <laughs> There's lots of fancy things you can do in the overhead. Sorry, in the airplane. That kind of riff on that little change of direction. Okay, so now I'm gonna remove the board. I'm gonna add the foot straps. And we'll do a little workout starting with um, the frog, circles, walking, beats, bicycle, big frog, and then the airplane. And I don't need that rollback bar. <laughs> and another thing, if you're wondering, maybe you don't have an airplane board, there's another exercise right on the other side of the Cadillac with a really supportive wooden push through bar that can be also a help. It's actually a little bit more gentle help than the airplane, but it's another great place to find that solid foundation to support yourself in a standing position as you're lifting up overhead. So after the leg spring series, we'll look at that exercise as well. Okay. You can also make an airplane board um, if you're handy because it's essentially just a board <laughs> with some straps. Okay, so I'm gonna do a few of each of the exercises. And I do like to use the order of the exercises here if I'm gonna do all of them. So I'm gonna start by pretending I'm standing in the strap. So now there's a lot more imagination that's necessary. And I'm gonna do a few frogs. And I'm trying to control and find that standing feeling on the way in so that the spring is not doing the exercise, my stomach is doing the exercise. Now I'm gonna to go to the circles. And a few in each direction. And then I'm gonna to return to my frog each time. And this frog skill is gonna show up in our airplane. Now I'm gonna walk a few steps. I'm gonna do this three times down and up. And return to the frog. Now I'm gonna do three sets of, uh, five sets of beats, five. And then I'm gonna lower a little bit and do five. And then I'm gonna lower a little bit more and do five. And then I'm gonna come up. And then I'm gonna come back to the frog.
And then I'm going to start the bicycle. I'm going to do a few in each direction. And reverse. Now I'm really trying to stand in both directions of the bicycle. Even when the spring is closing, I'm still keeping pressure against the strap. And then return to the frog. So now I'm going to do the big frog. I'm going to use my lift to bring my leg lower for a low frog, circle up, and then resolve it in a regular frog. I like to say that this is a frog sandwich with a circle in the middle. I'm going to do one more, or like a swimming frog. This exercise you may have learned as six count frog. And it is the same exercise, I'm just connecting all the six points instead of stopping. And I'm just going to go over that a little bit slowly in case that's a new exercise. So I'm going down, out, open, up, together, and in. And then I'm doing the exact same thing on the reverse. Out, open, down, together, and in. So now, time for the airplane. I'm going to slide out so my arm is straight. And then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to sort of start standing on the floor, on the mat. And then I'm going to keep that feeling as I slowly roll over like a ball. And then I'm going to frog to the ceiling. And then I'm going to lift away from where I'm standing. And then frog back in. Rolling over. Frog up. Lift as I come down. And in. One more time. Over. I'm trying to minimize the noise of the spring so that there's no flapping springs, no noisy springs. And then I'm going to reverse. I'm going to stand in my spring. And that's the part where you'll probably see that it's a little harder without the board. Although I did notice that I got a little bit better. <laughs> but this part where you're standing, the spring goes away and you gotta keep standing, very reminiscent of your jackknife skills. You're kind of aiming for the position of the up of jackknife, right? That's the position. Okay. Well, that was exciting. <laughs> So if you don't have an airplane board and you want to work on a lifting overhead for exercises on the reformer like short spinal massage, the overhead, perhaps even semicircle, you can use the push through bar. The exercise uh, that we have your feet on the push through bar, sometimes it's called shoulder roll down, sometimes it's called shari, named after Ramana's daughter. And it might even be called parakeet. Um, and essentially it is the, uh, the exercise from the mat. You'll recognize it in a moment. So I'm lying down, I'm gonna get the bar, and I'm gonna bring the bar so it hangs between the uprights of the Cadillac. I'm gonna have the ball of my foot on the bar. And you're getting to do the same kind of action that we sort of took ourselves over on the overhead. So, or sorry, on the airplane. So it's not gonna go quite that far over. This part you can do a little bit. This is actually just, you know, frog, but the legs are parallel. And controlling this bar is gonna, uh, when you're down, is gonna go a long way to have you control the bar as it goes up, as your body leaves the mat. So at this time, I'm gonna stand on that bar and I'm gonna stand and lift my bottom into my trunk very solidly. And then I'm gonna keep this very solid as I stand on the bar and my stomach is helping me to come down with my back. So 
you do get a, a, the skill of lifting the hips up, but it's just not the same up as the airplane. This is also a great exercise. Janet, this one is coming. <laughs> I want to stand and lift in the other direction. And then I'm going to keep lifting. And then I'm going to come down. And then I'm just going to do the one leg version of this because, you know, that's that's what we've all been waiting for. <laughs> I'm going to stand. I'm going to keep this lifting and stand on one leg and bring it back. Stand on the other leg. Just like a step and a kick. And then I'm going to resolve the exercise and come down. And then I'm going to do the roll up to come up and get the bar so that I can close the spring with control. So thank you so much for watching. And if you have the airplane board and the foot straps, do compare and contrast how they feel in your body. Both versions of the exercise are great for different situations, different people, different days. Thank you so much for watching. Um, Become a subscriber, there's lots more videos coming. And thank you so, so much. I've been really loving all of your very supportive comments. Um, and thank you so much, I could not do this without you. I will see you next time. Have a great workout this week. Bye.